Hi you guys, welcome to Sandy's channel. So as you know, we're totally stranded, so I just had to go bathe in the ocean to stay clean, you know, because it's starting to get a little smelly now. Um, and I just wanted to respond to some of your comments. Well, first of all, I wanted to talk to the downstairs guys. Kevin and Doug, if you're listening, I'm not very happy with you right now because I see here that you're spending all your time trying to teach Tony musical theater when obviously she doesn't have any talent and instead of coming to get us. So I see where your priorities are. Um, you know, let's see. Uh, Beautiful Teeth said, do they really live together? And I'll answer that for them. Unfortunately, yes, they do live together. And that's why they haven't come and gotten us because Doug is influencing Kevin, you know, otherwise I think Kevin would have come picked us up. Um, Princess uh, Evil said, Kevin, you're such a knob. You go treat her with tenderness, Doug. And believe me, Doug is not going to treat her with tenderness because he is not trustworthy between you and me. He is not a tender guy and I wouldn't trust him with my, you know, pet kitten. Um, anyway, to go back to some of our comments, I'm going to go back here. Um, I wanted to just tell you a little bit that um, Stupid Jim was definitely with us, so I don't really know how he was also with the downstairs guys. I think that it might have been an uh, imitator or something. I'm not really sure, but it was definitely... Stupid Jim who was taping us and Stupid Jim's car was stolen so you know that it was Stupid Jim. So I know some of you guys were a little bit confused about that like um, Snow Lion UD said is Stupid Jim some sort of superhero? Does he have powers that far exceed what we can comprehend? And to be honest I really doubt that like he's just a normal guy he's pretty stupid so to imagine Stupid Jim with superpowers is kind of like imagining Kevin with superpowers. You know what I mean? Um, Air Raid said, how come you'll do anything with Doug but you can't do any, you won't do anything with me? You don't have a car. Freaking hilarious. I love how stupid Jim's at two places at once. Um, and it's true, like why would I do anything for Mutt when he doesn't even have a car? You know, it's like, he, that was a dumb question anyway. Um, let's see. Ride it out 28 said, if you're going to tell it, tell it right. But Dee, weren't you emailing me nonstop calling me because you needed things and wanted your Valentine's gift, birthday gift? Then drove up and down beach just to see me but keep, kept lying. You're not doing so good. I don't know what's going on between you and Dee, Dee but I think that's between you guys. So I just hope that she doesn't break your heart because she's a heartbreaker. And let's see. Um... PA16803 said, children who never grow up become actors and actresses. That sounds about right. <laughs> I mean, that's what Kevin and Doug are doing, right? Um, and let's see. Um, oh, Doug said, okay, the reason I'm not picking them up is that they never pay for gas. Well, how are we going to pay for gas if we're totally broke and stranded? You know, like, have a little heart, people. That's all I want to say. This is really to Doug and Kevin. Will you please come pick us up? All right, talk to you guys soon.